Hello YouTube, how you doing today? We're going to do something that somebody asked me to do on YouTube to try. said it was pretty good. Wanted to know what I thought about it. It's called Crunk. K-R-U-N-K-Y Crunky Crunk Anyhow, it's called Crunk Kool-Aid All you need is Rapid Rise Fresh Smooth Yeast Or any kind of yeast you want to use Measuring Cup Sugar and a bottle. Just a minute. I have a bottle. I mean, a pan of boiling water here. That I'm gonna pour in here. And then, ooh, it's hot. So, actually, what I'm doing is I'm sterilizing inside the bottle. You can do it with a sterilizer, you know. You can take a, put just a drop of bleach in here with some hot or warm water and ooh, do the same thing. I got some bleach over there, but I just thought I'd do it this way today. Shaking it up real good. Make sure it's good and clean. That ought to be good. Sterilize my cat while I was, while I was at it. And now we're going to pour this down the drain. as possible so it won't be a long video for y'all running this down in here trying to get the stop a little a little uh clean a little, a little clean uh, a little dry all right what we're gonna do is We're going to put one cup of sugar. Might be a little bit more than a cup, but that's okay. I ain't got no funnel. So we're going to pour the sugar in here. It usually goes faster this way than a funnel because the funnel gets all clogged up and you have to stick something down in there. And you know, it usually works pretty good. Make sure your hands are clean. I washed them with some bacterial soap, so hand cleaner. So see, that's sugar in it. Uh, 
All right, what we need to do is we need to put a little bit of hot water from your tap. Most people don't say, say don't use tap water. But in something like this, I'm going to try it because, you know, your hot water heater, your water stays a certain temp in there and it, it kills most of, the, most of the bacteria and everything, so, you know. We're going to put just a drop of sugar in there. Then we're going to take our Ashman's yeast. We're going to pour it over in there. That's probably a half a pack. So I have something else going over here in this. We're going to try it. Now we're going to take a spoon. We're going to stir this up real good. Most people just pour it straight into the bottle, don't hydrate it, but uh, I like to hydrate it, make sure it's working before you pour it in there. Boy, that's a lot of sugar. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to cover this with a napkin. And we're going to put the spoon on top of it, hold it on there. And what we're going to do is, I think that's a little bit too much sugar. But I don't want to come out, so we're going to see if it's going to work. All right, I'm gonna fill this up with tap water about a halfway. All right, my tap water comes out about ninety to a hundred. And then we're going to shake this shit out of it. Make sure your top's on there because it will make one sticky mess if you don't. Because of that making over there, there's already fruit flies in here. Set just a second, make sure all of those dissolve. We're going to shake it a little more. Open up the top, let some more air get into it. I like to blow air into it. And put the top on it. Air rate it, get air in it. I'm going to buy me one of them little fish pumps. It puts air into uh, water in the fish tank, so I can stick it down in there and aerate the water. The more you start out with, the better. You're going to have luck with it aerating. Most people are going to frown on doing that right there, but... You know, that's my boy. Okay, I think she's... Well... Dissolved there. The yeast is already starting to bubble. I 
should have put it on a while ago. All we're going to do is we're going to add the high raisin. Raisin is a yeast nutrient. In case you don't have none laying around the house. No yeast nutrient. you do right here do it for right now because Kool-Aid won't ferment it'll kill the fermentation so what we're going to do is we're going to shake this up one more time so I put raisins in it Folks, we're going to grab us some little hot water. We're going to fill it up to about right here. Give it some room to breathe. And in case it wants to bubble up. Okay, folks, what we're going to do is since I ain't got no airlock I can spare right at the moment, they all in use, we're going to just let the lid a little loose. And we'll check it every day because sometimes it'll come on completely loose where it's just pushing on it and turning it. All you do is tighten it barely loosen it so your gases can escape and your liquor and all stays you know you everything else stays in keeps the flies out keeps the air from coming in and once you do this you don't want no more air in there you just barely loosen it to where there can escape. Well, there you go, folks. When I get through with this, we'll uh, add the Kool-Aid to it, and we'll try it, and we'll see how she tastes. Cheers, YouTube. Have a good one.